Kathy here from Kathy's Cute Creations. Today I'm going to give you a little update on the traveling quilts. This is number two. And as you can see, I put flange on it. <clears throat> so that's why it has white and this little bit of a green right there. I did it all the way down the quilt. So you can see here how that lifts up a little bit. Now that's what I did on the second one. Then today I'm working on the third. And on this one, I'm putting just a plain white, which I'm going to get ready to attach. Here's the white fabric. Alrighty. And then I'll be done with all the quilting and I will be sending them out. And I'll go ahead and I'll show you these two. All right, so this film is going to be nothing but snippets of this and snippets of that and, you know. But anywho, let me show you what I'm doing here. So here's what this looks like, the flange. All right, so it's just a piece here. That's all it is. And I put the two pieces, the ending, right here, which is kind of hard to see, but you can see there's a little seam right here. But to keep this from flipping up, okay, I mean, I'm gonna take it and I'm gonna tack it down. Now, all I do when I tack it down is I will take my thread, I'm trying to make sure that we can see this, and I always take it and bury it on this back side. And then I come up. And I'm going to show you where I came up right here. Come up right there. Okay, that's the back side. This is the top. This is between the two little pieces right here. These two pieces. So then this will be buried down here because I'll just take and snip off this very tail end of fabric right here so that you've got the knot okay then it goes up underneath here so you won't even see it because it literally you cannot see the knot okay flip it back like this and then what I'll do is see if I can show you I'm going to come in and I'm going to show you where I'm coming in so you got an idea of what we're looking at. So that's, you see the needle? Here's the needle. And you can see it, the little reflection. So it is buried down so that when it gets put on, it'll be like that where you can't see it. And I just take a little bit and I'll just do like some whip stitching. And grab it, put it like that. And then I'll take the bottom part because that's the part I really don't want to be showing so I'm going to try now what I should have done of course you know this is all in hindsight what I should have done shoulda coulda woulda you know that is I should have went ahead and when I cut this fabric the two pieces that met I should have made it longer because had I made it longer then it would be more hidden and I wouldn't have to worry about it now I'm trying to hide it because it's so darn short it's going to stick out so here's what I'm doing, and I don't even know if you can see it, but it even shows up real good. I grabbed the top piece of the inside right here, and I'm going down to the bottom of where this flange is on the fabric itself. So I'm going as far down as I can get on the quilt, because then it pulls that fabric down so that it's not as noticeable, because you can tuck it in, you can glue it, whatever. And then what you want to do is you're going to come up through your fabric to the top of the flange like this. Okay, I'm trying to move it around so y'all can see it. And oopsie dips. And then you'll take your thread and then you'll go like this and you'll go down underneath and it'll cover all that. So that's what I'm doing. And I'll show it to you here when I'm finished. Alrighty, so when it's all said and done, it's not even noticeable. I left this open. Uh, some might tack it down. If you tack it down, you're going to want to tack it in black fabric. And um, I think you guys know how to do the bearing of the thread, I think. Now, you could tack this whole thing down. I would not sew it with machine. I would tack it down by hand. All of this, um, if you want to do the flange, if you want to attach that. To that, I would not sew it. 
And when you do sew this, <clears throat> you want to sew it as close to in the ditch. Let me get a piece of thread out of here so I can give you an idea. Okay. As close to in the ditch as you can. Let's flip it this way so you can see it. See the sewing, the thread right here? Uh, I think you can see this pointed out here. Here's the thread right here along the ditch. You're putting it right up against when you sew it. You're putting it right here between the two. You're sticking it right on that line. And when you do, that puts it right up against the edge here so that you're practically burying it underneath that. Okay. Here we go with the third quilt. So here's what it looks like. I have my daughter holding it up for us. Hi. I'm gonna walk over here and show you what I did in the corner. So everybody that's gonna get dizzy, shut your eyes real quick. I'll tell you when to open them, keep them closed. Why am I closing my eyes? Not you. Okay, now you can open them. This is what it says right here. I put it on the corner. All right, and there is the border, or the border, the, the trim that I put on, and it's just white. That's all it is, just white. So it looks really, really nice. All right, now I'm gonna back off from the quilt. So you can take Sorry, another look at it. Move. That's all right. I have that down at the bottom right-hand corner. I've got so much stuff in the way. See it right there, okay? All right, now I'm going to show the other one where I put flange. Okay, so here's number two, and let me get a, close up so that you can see what I'm talking about when I say it has flange. So this is what I did. It just, this is the first time I've done it. I just did it to be different. It's got the label here in the right hand corner, just like before. I'm trying to move as slow as I can to show you the corner. There's the corner. So that's the quilt number two. And then let me back up. So we can see the whole entire thing. Look at all those beautiful colors. I want to thank Stephanie. She did all the quilting. And Donna actually pieced. And for all the women that came together and sent all these squares for Donna to do, I want to thank all of you. We all did it. And now I'm going to have one of my daughter or my granddaughter hold the bags, which is what were made to put these in. So I had them flip the back over because I wanted you to see that this fabric, which is a dark blue, it's got little boxes, but it looks like it's little constellations actually. And that's what two and three quilt has on the back of it. And then this is the design, swirls. All right, now we'll take a look at the bags. All right, here is all three of the bags that have been made for the quilts. I'll put them in the bags or I'll lay the bags in the box. I just haven't made my mind up yet. I have to ship all three of the quilts. Two of them are going to the, if you watch my video because I don't have the address or the information and I for the life of me cannot remember, but I know that they're going to the soldiers. And then one is going um, in the city in Maryland for uh, rehab. So I'll have all the information when I uh, go ahead and edit this video because I'll, I'll get the information and put it in there. So if you all want to know where it's going, you can research it and that kind of thing. All right. Thank you everybody for watching. I appreciate it. And thank you, Megan and Sherry for holding all this up as Megan's head peeks out. Mm -hmm.